Okay, now let's talk about adult stem cells. First of all, let's look at features of stem cells, adult stem cells. They're harvested from the niches of an individual postnatally. So there's no ethical dilemma attached to usage of these cells for research or therapeutic purposes. However, these cells have a limited ability to renew themselves and also very importantly, differentiate into different cell types. The plus point of these cells is that they do not cause an immune rejection. However, their ability to regenerate tissue by differentiating into different types of cells and making more copies of themselves is relatively limited compared to the embryonic stem cells. Here's an experiment in which researchers used adult stem cells to repair damaged bone, femur in this case. This is done on rats, of course. So basically, I'm not going to talk about too many details, technical details of this experiment. They had two models. One in one, in one scenario, they used adult stem cells derived from bone marrow. Uh, these are mesenchymal stem cells. They applied to the injured part of the bone. And in other cases, they did not, in control case, they did not use any stem cells. So basically, the point I want to make here is when they did not apply stem cells, the wound did not heal quite as efficiently. However, when they used adult mesenchymal bone marrow stem cells, the wound healed uh, relatively much, much more efficiently than it, it healed without the adult stem cells. So here's one experiment which shows that adult stem cells can be used to replace damaged or lost tissue. I would like to tell you about another case where Adult stem cells have been used successfully to repair a damaged organ or replace tissue. In this case, heart to be more specific, Dezeldorf group performed the clinical stem cell application for the first time in 2001, treating acute myocardial infarction by intracoronary cell transfer. So basically, these people, they isolated stem cells from a patient, heart patient, and they injected those cells in via catheter into the damaged zone of the heart. So these adult stem cells, they went and with the intention that these stem cells will repair the damaged tissue. So people have done many, many different groups all over the world have done different experiments using two different basically routes to deliver stem cells, either intracoronary application, which is basically using a catheter like when people go for angioplasty the doctors can put stem cells in the catheter and while the catheter balloon is opening the artery it also delivers stem cells at the site of injury and it can repair the damaged tissue or the stem cells can be injected directly in the myocardium using a syringe this injection is done at the site of injury I have to tell you that there is a growing evidence that bone marrow derived stem cells can improve the cardiac function. Uh, the reference is given here too. People have many different groups have performed experiments using adult stem cells to repair damaged heart tissue. There is still a debate about what is the best technique and what is the best time, etc. However, common theme about many of these studies is that adult stem cells derived from bone marrow can actually repair the damaged heart. Now, let me tell you about a different type of stem cell which has a very promising potential to replace damaged tissue and that is actually the stem cells derived from cord blood. So what happens generally during delivery the placenta is thrown away in most places at least in Pakistan whereas this placenta is one of the best gifts to us from the nature or God because the cells present in the cord blood in that placenta they have features of both adult and the embryonic stem cells, meaning that these cells can differentiate into pretty much all types of tissues, even the brain cells, which is very hard to do, and also insulin producing cells, and all different tissues from three different germ layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and also endoderm and ectoderm. So the unfortunate part is it's thrown away, whereas in many developed countries, the cord blood cells are actually stored and they're stored in such a way that they can be used even several decades uh, later on they're stored in liquid nitrogen. 
So unfortunately, we don't have those facilities here, but hopefully we'll have facilities that would allow people to store their cells for a, for a later use. So this is basically uh, the how stem, adult stem cells can be used to repair lost or damaged tissue.